Ephesus was killing it. They could articulate that the Bible was the final authority. They can articulate the sanctity of marriage. They can articulate the sanctity of life. Their theology was razor sharp. But Jesus says in the face of all of that, I have this against you. You have abandoned the love that you had at first. And because you have done that, if you do not get it together, I will shut your whole thing down. In other words, whatever is happening that is good, all the good that is present is not good enough to cover for this one bad thing. The one thing that is missing is worse than the measure of all the good things that are present. You have lots of passion for saying the right things. You have lots of passion for stopping people who are saying the wrong things. And as good as those things are, that is not the essence of Christianity. The essence of Christianity is a fervent love for God that is demonstrated in your love for people. If that's missing, we are in trouble. Think about what Paul says in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 2. He says that if I gave my body to be burned for the sake of Christ, meaning if you walked up to me and said, KB, deny Jesus right now or I'll burn you at the stake. And I said, oh, let's do it then. Burn me at the stake. You take me to the stake. I begin to be uh, consumed by flames. If I am at that stake and lack love, Paul says, I have wasted my time. That love is essential. That the road to destruction is paved with people with perfect theology. That the road to destruction is paved with people who went to all the studies, that fought all the heretics, that were engaged in the cultural wars on Twitter. But they lost their simple, pure, fervent love for Jesus. You can become so passionate about expelling evil in your community, expelling evil in your city, expelling evil in Washington, D.C., that you forget that the most evil thing that you can do is fail to fervently love your God and his people. 